This month marks 10 years since the Vortex ride at the State Fair malfunctioned, causing injury to the Gorm family in Durham. It happened on October 24th, 2013. According to the ride operator, the Vortex restarted unexpectedly as people were getting off the ride. When it restarted, people were flung and knocked to the ground. That's just one of the reasons the State Fair makes safety a priority. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Liz Ortiz. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live from the Midway after getting an up-close look at the inspection process underway to keep all the rides at the fair safe. Mariah. Yeah, inspectors tell us that a lot of issues that they see injuries is mainly because of human error. And that's why they said it's super important to make sure you're following the rules, including those height restrictions and guidelines. Inspectors also tell us that a lot of malfunctions are pretty rare when it comes to these rides, mainly because of the work that goes into making sure these rides are safe. Whether it's the speed, the twirls, or even the heights. Thank you for riding the train. There's a reason fairgoers seek the rides at the North Carolina State Fair. To me, it seems like astronaut training. I mean, a lot of these rides, you do very gyroscopic moves, and it's exciting. Dennis Brown is an inspector with the North Carolina Department of Labor. He's helping make sure nearly 100 rides on the Midway are safe and certified to operate. Check the plexiglass, all the connections. Up in here, there's pins and uh, retain. He says it's a process that begins 10 days out before the fair begins, checking the attractions as they arrive, beginning at the ground level and up. Do through the same thing with every ride, look for cracked welds, and everything is we can look at while it's down low. And as the ride goes up, we'll come back and inspect again. So each ride gets inspected multiple times. These North Carolina Department of Labor inspectors are checking everything from tripping hazards, even restraints on rides just like this Ferris wheel. Brown says North Carolina has some of the strictest inspection laws in the country. Just the fact that we inspect it every time it's set up. That, that's uh, some states will do it once a year. Not only do operators have to meet 100% of the manufacturer's standards, but those that don't aren't able to open. We want to keep our people as safe as possible. That's really it. I mean, it really comes down to public safety. I mean, we don't want to see anybody get hurt, and there's no need to not inspect a ride. I mean, we have we have the men to do it, and we have the expertise, and so why not? Making sure these thrills don't there. become dangerous. The Amusement Device Safety Act really ensures that these rides are not only checked and certified before they start operating, but also that they're checked daily while all these rides are operating here on the fairgrounds. In Raleigh, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, I can't wait for the fair. It's exciting. All right, thank you.